Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be checking out a powerful Town Hall 15 attack strategy, double hog riders, yes! So first of all, we're going to have a look at the army composition, then we'll watch the replays and I'll show you how to use it. So the army's going to be three super wall breakers, three balloons, three wizards, five healers, one baby dragon, two minions, and then the hog riders. Ten hog riders and ten super hog riders and one ice golem. Spells are going to be one heal, four rage, two freeze, an invisibility spell and a poison spell to sprinkle on top. But you can swap out a couple of the rage spells for heal spells if you want to help out your hog riders more. Clan castle troops, two yetis, a valk and two sneak goblins inside siege machine depends guys on the base so let's jump into our first replay now so here we go guys and it depends on the base that you come up against what tactics you're going to use what i would say on bases like this where the town hall is not in the center sort of off to one side the mission is to take out the town hall with a queen walk if you can you've got a baby dragon to help funnel your king can help funnel as well on the other side so that's sort of one side of that area funneled by the baby dragon. Send in your queen with the unicorn, of course, and five healers. Super wall breaker sort of opens up that wall segment to try and help the queen in. There's another super wall breaker as backup. The queen's now sort of going to move towards the town hall, but we need to send in the king on the right-hand side to help out. Otherwise, she'll keep going over to the right-hand side. I know it can be difficult to funnel, okay, guys? So we want to try and make it as easy as possible. The queen is now... En route towards the town hall. We use a rage spell to help her out there. There's some nasty super minions. Poison them. And guys, what I said earlier as well. We've got loads of rage spells that our attacker was using with this. You could swap out one of those for another heal spell for your hog riders later. Otherwise, they're going to complain and say, Samoose, one heal spell, really? But... If you do that, you're going to have less rage spells for your queen that helps with the queen walk. Anyway, the first stage of the attack is sort of completed. We know the queen can take down the town hall. Then the second stage is sending in your Grand Warden with the double hog riders. You can send in the Royal Champion as well. Which siege machine you use is up to you. It's worth thinking about because if you can't take out the town hall with the queen, what you can do is a queen walk somewhere else into another compartment then sending the main army with a Grand Warden and sending a Battle Blimp through the Grand Warden's ability to take out maybe a centralised Town Hall base. That's something worth thinking about. And on this base, the Battle Blimp's going to be sent in to take out the compartment with the Eagle Artillery. You've got the Siege Barracks as well. That's a good idea to help funneling loads of troops in there. And obviously the Battle Drill as well with the Double Hog Riders. That's a good idea. It depends on the base. So I just say, you know... Try and experiment, find which siege machine works well for you. So how are we doing here anyway? The Royal Champion is there moving through the base. We've got a balloon, I think, as well. Some minions. Hi there. How are you doing? And double hog riders. I like it. I think it's a nice attack strategy. I think super hogs are fantastic. I really do. But just having the hog riders as well with less housing space. Yeah. And look, there's a super hog rider dismounted there running around. Magnificent. So are we going to get three stars? I think we are. So guys, do remember, by the way, we do have another replay in just a moment. Do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus army. And if you're enjoying the video and you're learning something, if you could like the video, if you have indeed enjoyed it, that would be absolutely amazing. Because it's a pretty well-known fact. Most of the people who watch videos on mostly any channels, they're not subscribers. So yeah, why not subscribe? Stick around, guys. So on to our next replay. Now, this is a horrible base. And this is quite an interesting replay. So thank you to Coco from Use Code Moose for the replays. Excellent attacks, as always. So what are we going to do here? It's horrible. So a queen walk there at the bottom corner. Now this can get difficult. The clan castle troops are there, I know. But even though the clan castle troops are there, the clan castle with the super minions, and you think, oh, that's easy. They're, you know, they're really on the edge of the base. The amount of times... I've thought it's easy than sending an army and it just ruined the attack. Uh, thankfully, it's going okay here with the queen and the healers taking out the clan castle troops. There's a baby dragon there as well. There is a multi-inferno, some expo, so it is a bit difficult. You've got to concentrate. You can't, you know, start your queen walk and go off and make a cup of orange juice or something. No, you've got to be there focused, guys. So I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest. I've forgotten, but the super wall breakers have opened up the compartment towards the town hall. But the queen isn't going to go there. That's the thing with funneling and queen walks. The queen goes to the nearest building pretty much, doesn't she? So there's no way she's going to that town hall area now, which means, well, either she's got to go there later or the hog riders have. So anyway, the second stage, the attack. No, it's not. Sorry, guys. It's the king. I thought it was the hog riders. The king trying to break into that compartment. 
but he's been taken. Oh, he's not having a good time there, is he? So at this point, this attack doesn't look like he's going to get three stars, I don't think. Then the hog riders are sent in on the right-hand side. The queen's still there. The super hog riders are there as well at the top of the base. Sorry, guys, I was distracted there. The Grand Warden and the main army there at the top of the base. And like we said earlier, you can send in the Battle Glimp through the Grand Warden's ability. Now, are those troops in there going to be able to take it out? No! The Invisibility Spell Tower has been a nightmare. And the Yetis have said, nothing to see here. And they've walked off. And the Town Hall is laughing at us now, saying, yep. Yeah, you're going to get one star. I don't think so. But is the army strong enough to take out the town hall? The minions are there. Royal champion moving through the base. We've still got the queen ability, the royal champion ability. So it's going to be... Oh, there's the queen on the right hand side. Super wall breaker. She's going to move towards the base now. There are loads of nasty things in that core section. And I know what you're thinking. You think Earthquake, Spell and Lightning would be nice there. Yes, it would, guys, but we don't have that, okay? A rage Spell there. The Queen. Can she take out the Town Hall? She's taking out the Monolith. Spell Towers. Nearly. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. So, guys, yeah, I want to try and bring you easy-to-use Town Hall 15 attack strategies. I've got to be honest, I'm not very good with Hog Riders or Queen Walks. I really should practice. But as Hog Rider, Queen Walk, or Double Hog Rider, sorry, Queen Walk goes, I think this is a pretty easy version for you to take away and try. Like I said, if you have enjoyed the video, do please hit that subscribe button and like the video. And remember on this channel, we've got something called a creator code, which is where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code before making any purchases. Our code is code moose. Any support would be fabulous. Hope you have a lovely day. The army copy link is in the video description and I hope to see you later. Bye.